Today we're making a granny square headscarf. I'll be using 73 grams of Lion Brand's 24-7 cotton yarn in the color bay leaf, which is 100% mercerized cotton and a medium or number 4 weight yarn. I'm also using a 4mm clover more crochet hook and a yarn needle to sew in the loose ends. If you want it to be more drapey, you can use a thinner yarn or a larger hook. Before we get into the pattern, I'd like to introduce the sponsor of today's video, the Myro Counter app. This is a great way to keep count of the rows in your project. Let's start a new crochet project and name it Granny Square Headscarf. If you have a written pattern, you can import it into the app from anywhere like a photo or even Ravelry. And if you don't, you can still use the row counter feature and a timer. This app also lets you use as many secondary counters as you want. If you add a row to the global counter, it will add one to each linked secondary counter and you can also choose to unlink a secondary counter. For this project, we just need one and let's start from zero and start the timer. To start off, we're going to make a slip knot. First, we'll grab our yarn and place it over the palm of our hand with the tail end at the bottom. Then grab the yarn with your thumb making sure to leave about 5 inches. Then grab the top and wrap it around two fingers to form an X. Insert your hook under one side of the X, then go over and grab the other side and pull it through. Remove your fingers and tighten the knot. And here is the slip knot. Now we're going to chain six. To make a chain, yarn over and pull through. And here is our first chain. Again, yarn over and pull through. And we'll do six chains. And here are the six chains, and you can count them by each sideways V. Now we're going to work into the very first chain we made, this one here. If it's hard to put all the stitches into here, then you can redo this chain looser. First, we'll do three double crochets. To do a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook in through the V of that first chain, Yarn over, pull through. Now you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through just two loops. Then yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So this is our first double crochet and we'll do two more. So again, to do a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into that same space. Yarn over, pull through, now you have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. Now do that one more time into that same chain. And we should have done a total of three double crochets. Now we'll chain two and do three more double crochets into that same space. Finally, we'll chain one and do one more double crochet into that space. Now we're done with our first row. It should look like a triangle. And now we can press the plus sign to add a row to our counter. Now we can start our second row and we will repeat this row over and over to increase the size of the triangle. First, we'll chain five. and then we'll turn. And now we'll do three double crochets into the chain one space from last row.
Then we'll chain one, and in this chain two space corner, we will do three double crochets. Then chain two and do three more double crochets. Then we'll chain one, and in the last space, we'll do three double crochets. Chain one, and then one double crochet. And again, we'll add another row to the counter and we'll continue adding rows to help us keep track. Now let's work through the third row with some notes to help you remember the pattern. The first space will have a chain five and three double crochets. We use the chain five to replace a double crochet and a chain one, which is mirrored for the end of the row. Then for every space between the first space and the corner space, we will do three double crochet clusters with chain ones in between every cluster. Then in the corner space, we will do three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. So the only time we do two chains is in the corner space between the two three double crochet clusters. Then from the corner space, to the end space, we will do the same with three double crochet clusters and a chain one in between. And in the last space, we will do three double crochets, chain one, then one double crochet. Again, the most important things are, and I'll have this written in the description below, chain five and do three double crochets at the start of every row, do three double crochet clusters with one chain in between every cluster along the sides, do three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets into the corner, and do three double crochets, one chain, and one double crochet into every last space of the row. Now we'll continue these rows until we get the size we want. I stopped at 18 rows and it measures about 37 centimeters along the shortest side of the triangle. This part took me about an hour and a half according to my timer. Now we can move on to the strap. To start the strap, we will chain however long you want the strap to extend on one side. I did 40 chains, and now we'll single crochet into these chains starting with the second chain from the hook. To do a single crochet, insert your hook into the V of the second chain from the hook, then yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook. Again, to single crochet, insert your hook into the V of the next chain, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook. And we'll continue single crocheting along the chains. And my 39 single crochets measures about 20 centimeters. 
Now we'll work into the spaces along the long side of the triangle. In each of these spaces, we'll do three single crochets. So here in the first space, we'll do three single crochets. Then we'll go into the next space and do three single crochets. And we'll continue along. And in the middle where we started the first row, we'll do one single crochet into this space and continue with three single crochets into every space. Once we reach the last space and do three single crochets into that last space, we can do the extension of the strap on this other side. First, we'll do the same number of chains we did for the other side. So let's chain 40. And now we'll do single crochets along the chain, starting in the second chain from the hook. Once we finish the last single crochet, we'll connect it by slip stitch to the space. To do a slip stitch, insert your hook into the space, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. So this connects the 39 single crochets upside down, but it's not noticeable and it's so we don't have to do any sewing for the strap. Finally, we can fasten off by chaining one, cutting the yarn about five inches, then pulling through with our hook and tightening the knot. The last thing we'll do is sew in the loose ends. So if you only used one skein of yarn, you should only have two loose ends. Let's grab our yarn needle and a loose end. First, we'll thread the loose end into the yarn needle. Then we'll go to the left under the loops of the single crochets we made. We'll go under a few inches. Then we'll turn around and go back the other way. We'll need to skip the first loop and go under those same loops back the other way. And if you have extra yarn, you can go back again the other way to make it extra secure. But now we can snip off the extra yarn. And here is our hidden loose end. We'll do that for the other loose end and we should be finished. Here is the finished product and it's normal for the straps to twist, but you can block them to straighten them out. Now here's a quick tutorial on how to put it on. So we're going to hold the straps and place it over our head with the triangle pointing down. And I'll leave about an inch or two before my forehead. Then we'll pull the straps behind our neck and under our hair, and we'll tie these straps together in a bow pretty tightly so it doesn't move around. And you can keep your ears hidden if you want, or you can pull out your earlobes. Then we'll flatten it against our head and you can shape the triangle in the back. Then if you have bangs or if you want to pull out strands of hair in the front, you can. And that's how I put it on. 
And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.